Hello and welcome to That's The Point, where we make it a point to talk about construction technology each and every time out. My name is Corey Meyer, here with my buddy Gian Lopez. Gian, what's up, man? Hey, I'm doing all right, man. How are you? I'm, I'm ready to do this. So, oh, so, so am I. Obviously, you're here, which means that we are talking about technical stuff. And this is actually a follow-up to the earlier episode we did, um, that we link it down below, that walk through setting up a tripod. Now, we're responsive here on That's The Point, and we listen to our users, and the question we've now gotten several times um, in the comments and in other areas through the desk is, my tri-brac and my e-bubble don't agree. So this, this tri-brac that's built in the standard bubble, um, down in the tri-brac, and the phase two, when you're setting it up, when you pull that up, they're not the same. And the question is, are you dead in the water? Are you stuck? Do you have to send this thing in? You are not stuck in the water. So what happens is on the tri-brac bubble, it's actually a very rough, or essentially, it's course. the course, or, but it's roughly to the same equivalent as the face display, first integral leveling bubble or electronic bubble that you're gonna use to actually fine tune your equipment. So the, so the broadest accuracy of the screen bubble of the screen is bubble the same as the one that's as in the, the same one. Okay. Now that can change depending on the ambient location that you're at, okay? Right. As well as wear and tear. But the bubble is a user adjustment. The only thing is that it's just a starting point. It's not an end all be all. That makes sense. So as we as we go in there and we set these up, if you notice you set your course adjustment, you set up your tri rack, it's not even close, right? When you turn on the, the unit. It doesn't matter, just re-level it using the unit and you're gonna be good to go. Yes. Now why does it now why is it so important that we get that unit so leveled up? Is there is there is it have to do with the tilt compensation? So it does have to do with the tilt compensation. There is a certain range that the equipment will compensate for, which is six degrees. And essentially, when you're actually leveling out your instrument, whether it's with the face display or choose to use the field link software with your robotic total station, uh, excluding RI, of course, right. uh, you're essentially going to just level out the equipment. And within, with, when you're within a certain range, the equipment will start going out of level. And the whole point is you start off as level as you can be so that when you reach that threshold of six degrees, essentially, six degrees, yeah. The equipment will essentially say, hey, I'm no longer going to compensate. I'm out of level. You need to re-level and shoot your control points again. So it's so that's why we want to start as level as we can because that gives us the max amount of range. Because, I mean, decks are live spaces, right? Like yes, wherever they're we always love, moving. And we're always moving. Even if we're setting up outside the site, you know, there's there's tripod settling, stuff like that. And so that gives us the maximum amount of, of flexibility within that tilt compensation range that hopefully we don't have to go back and re-level the unit. I couldn't have said it better myself. You're gonna quickly level up the bubble, and this is the same as the tripod video, right? You're gonna quickly do that. So You're gonna make some adjustments here, back and forth, just with the bubble. Essentially, all I'm really looking for is to get uh, about three quarters of the bubble or half of the bubble inside of the black circle to get started. Right. And then I would essentially make sure that the power button is on if yep. I already missed a 10 second counter. Then from there, I'll hit the enter button all the way towards the right once the equipment gets loaded up so that it can take me into the first face display, which is the one to two fiftieth. So essentially one. Which one is the same one as that, same accuracy same in the purple as the world. Bubble. As, okay. And then all I'm really doing from there is just making sure that once I'm leveled out, make the adjustments, and then I'll proceed to go to the next bubble level, obviously by hitting the down arrow in the yep. center. And then we just go display. through that same setup again. And we go through that same setup. So even if you can't see your bubble level right off the rip, when you first start leveling out, because let's say your bubbles are out of, at a level or they just are not matching each other. Turn on the instrument, go to the face display, you'll be able to tell exactly where your electronic bubble vial is, okay. so you'll still be able to level it out correctly or get yourself a starting point to go from. And that's it. So we've thoroughly discussed why your RTS e-bubble is your bubble of truth, and your tri bubble should just be used as a course reference. As always, if you need further assistance or help, reach out to your building point representative. Gian, thanks for taking a couple minutes here. Thank you for having me, man. So, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.